The World Oiga Congress Oiga, Dienya Yikunil T U L Y, Dunya Oiga Karulti, USY, Dunjarij Gyor Karulti G Chinese, Shi Ji Wai Wuer Dai Biao Da Hui Pinyin, Shi Ji Wai Wuer Dai Biao Da Hui, abbreviated WUC, is an international organization of exiled Oiga groups that aspires to represent the collective interest of the Oiga people. Both inside and outside of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region also called East Turkestan of the People's Republic of China. The World Uyghur Congress describes itself as a non-violent and peaceful movement that opposes what it considers to be the Chinese occupation of East Turkestan, and advocates rejection of totalitarianism, religious intolerance and terrorism as an instrument of policy. The Congress is funded in part by the National Endowment for Democracy or NED of the United States. The Congress was formed in mid April 2004 at a meeting in Munich, Germany, as a collection of various exiled Uyghur groups, including the World Uyghur Youth Congress and East Turkestan National Congress. Dolkan Issa is the current president, elected in November 2017. A prominent Uyghur activist, Issa has been living in Germany since 1996 after fleeing from China. Formation The World Uyghur Congress is an umbrella term for an organization of once small, weak and fractious Uyghur nationalist groups, including the World Uyghur Youth Congress, formed in November 1996 and the East Turkestan National Congress. On 18 April 2004, these groups united, with Erkan Alptekin serving as the first president and Dolkan Issa as general secretary since 2004 of the unified group. He served until 2006, when Rebia Kardea was elected as at the second General Assembly meeting held on 24-27 November 2006. The Congress has convened six assemblies since its inception. In 2004, 2006, 2009, 2012, 2016 and 2017. As part of the East Turkestan Independence Movement, it is a member of the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization. The organization itself is based primarily in Munich, where a large Uyghur diaspora lives. There are no known links between the WUC and the East Turkestan Islamic Movement. Topic. Objectives The WUC has accused former Chinese Communist Party leader Mao Zedong of «colonizing» Xinjiang and reneging on promises to allow self-determination for the region. According to the WUC, its main aim is to Promote the right of the Uyghur people to use peaceful, non-violent, and democratic means to determine the political future of East Turkestan. It has declared its intention to work with world governments and form a peaceful opposition to the policies of the Chinese government in Xinjiang, whose treatment of Uyghurs, it alleges, risk turning the region into a time bomb. The first president, Erkan Alptekin, described the Han Chinese as "...colonists who want to replace us with their own people and assimilate those of us who remain, wiping out our culture." The Congress has also said China is exaggerating the threat from terrorists in order to justify repression in the region. The Congress, like the Uyghur American Association based in Washington, D.C., use mass media and their own websites in an aim to inform the international community of alleged human rights abuses in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region. It has been described as cyber separatism which is supported in part by wealthy Uyghurs in the Middle East. Some newspapers in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan reprint articles from the websites in Uyghur and Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership Steering <laughs> 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 committee 
As the Congress is made up of a number of Uyghur groups internationally, its leaders are based in a number of countries. The Congress also maintains representatives in Australia, Belgium, Denmark, France, Kyrgyzstan, Japan, Sweden and the United Kingdom. President Cardea met former United States President George Bush in June 2007, and British Foreign and Commonwealth Office officials in October the same year. The President Dolkan Issa is on the red notice list of the International Criminal Police Organization, though the German government does not recognize the notice, nor does the United States. Fair Trials, an organization working for fair trials according to internationally recognized standards of justice," has noted that in practice, Interpol's red notices are being used as political tools by NCBs, and are being issued and maintained on the basis of criminal cases which have been recognized as being politically motivated by extradition courts and asylum authorities. President Dolkan Issa is a former student leader of the pro-democracy demonstrations at Xinjiang University in 1988. He founded the Students' Science and Culture Union at the university in 1987 and worked on programs to eliminate illiteracy and to promote science and to lead other students in East Turkestan. He was then dismissed from university but completed his physics degree via independent study, and went on to receive a master's degree in politics and sociology from Gazi University in Turkey and a degree in computer science in Munich, Germany. After enduring persecution from the Chinese government, Issa fled China in 1994 and sought asylum in Europe, and became a citizen of Germany in 2006. Topic. Former presidents Erkan Alptekin born July 4, 1939 in Kashgar, is a Uyghur activist. From Germany, he has helped found many Uyghur nationalist organizations, the best known of which are the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization and the World Uyghur Congress. Alptekin is the son of Issa Alptekin, who in 1933–1934 was the General Secretary of the First East Turkestan Republic in Western China. After the peaceful liberation of Xinjiang in 1949 and succession by the New People's Republic of China, Alptekin's family fled to Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. There he attended Catholic school and then convent college, completing his studies in the Institute of Journalism in Istanbul. Alptekin is based in Germany. Rebia Kardea, born the 15th of November 1946, is an ethnic Uyghur businesswoman and political activist. Born in city of Altai of China, Kardea became a millionaire in the 1980s through her real estate holdings and ownership of a multinational conglomerate. Kardea held various positions in China's parliament and other political institutions before being arrested in 1999 for, according to Chinese state media, sending confidential internal reference reports to her husband, who worked in the United States as a pro-Xinjiang independence broadcaster. After she fled to the United States in 2005 on compassionate release, Kardea assumed leadership positions in overseas Uyghur organizations such as the World Uyghur Congress. Kardea speaks Uyghur and Mandarin Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> General assemblies Topic: First General Assembly. On the 18th of April 2004, the First General Assembly of World Uyghur Congress was held in Munich, Germany. In the assembly, the World Uyghur Youth Congress, which was formed in November 1996, and the East Turkestan National Congress declared their unification by forming the World Uyghur Congress. At this assembly, Erkan Alptekin was elected as the first president and Mehmet Toti as the vice president. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Second General Assembly. From November 24 to 27, 2008, the World Oiga Congress has successfully held its second assembly in Munich, Germany. WUC delegates from the United States, Canada, the Great Britain, Australia, Germany, Norway, the Netherlands, Sweden, Turkey, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan attended this assembly. Prominent Uyghur political leader and human rights activist Muz Rebia Kadea was unanimously elected as the new president of World Uyghur Congress. Muz Kadea's election has given new hope and strength for WUC and the Uyghur people all around the world. Topic: <laughs> Third General Assembly. From May 21 to 25, 2009, the World Uyghur Congress successfully held its third General Assembly in Washington, D.C. WUC delegates from the United States, Canada, the Great Britain, Australia, Germany, Norway, the Netherlands, Sweden, Turkey, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan attended this assembly. Held in conjunction with the meeting was a conference on the Uyghur conflict entitled, East Turkestan, 60 Years Under Communist Chinese Rule, that took place on May 18 and 19, prior to the assembly. During the week beginning on Monday, May 18, officially designated by the WUC as Uyghur Week, WUC delegates, Uyghur human rights activists, government officials, legislators, and academics attended these two important events. Topic: <laughs> Fourth General Assembly. From May 14 to 17, 2012, the World Uyghur Congress WUC successfully held its fourth General Assembly in Tokyo, Japan, attended by more than 120 Uyghur delegates from 20 countries around the world. During the four-day assembly, delegates in six commissions discussed new strategies for the peaceful promotion of human rights and democracy for the Uyghur people, in light of China's current political conditions and its upcoming change of political leadership later this year. They also held a peaceful protest in front of the Chinese embassy in Tokyo with the participation of Japanese supporters. During the rally, a representative delivered a letter to the Chinese government calling for an end to ongoing grave human rights abuses suffered by Uyghurs in their homeland. Japanese and international media covered the protest. During the assembly, Uyghur delegates also elected a new WUC leadership. Uyghur democracy leader Muz Rebia Kadea was re-elected as WUC president. Topic. Fifth General Assembly On July 13, 2016, the World Uyghur Congress, under the co-sponsorship of the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization UNPO and the Uyghur Association of France, Association des Uyghurs de France successfully completed its Fifth General Assembly in Paris, France. The assembly brought together over 140 WUC delegates from 18 countries to elect new representation, amend the charter of the organization and to discuss a forward-looking strategic advocacy plan over the next four years. The public opening session brought together members of the Uyghur community with representatives of civil society in France as well as WUC affiliate organizations from around the world to highlight the successes of those groups as well potential areas for improvement. Speeches during the ceremony were delivered by WUC President, Rebia Kadea and UNPO Secretary General, Marino Buzdakan, along with leaders of WUC affiliate organizations. Topic. Sixth General Assembly From November 10 to 12, 2017, the World Uyghur Congress successfully completed its sixth General Assembly on November 12 in Munich, Germany. 
The assembly brought together over 100 WUC delegates hailing from 18 countries from November 10 to 12 to amend the charter of the organization, discuss the most effective direction of the organization in the coming years, to develop a working strategy to more effectively raise the Uyghur issue in international fora, and elect new leadership. Long-time Uyghur activist and co-founder of the WUC, Dolkan Issa, was elected as WUC president and former vice president, Omar Kanat was elected as chairman of the executive committee. In addition, the delegates recognized the unparalleled contributions of former president and long-time Uyghur activist Rebia Kardea with an honorary role with the organization. The closing ceremony was centred around a Uyghur cultural event that included a performance by members of the London Uyghur Ensemble, traditional dance and the recitation of poetry. The event allowed members of the Uyghur community from around the world to share in their common culture and heritage as the WUC looks to protect Uyghur identity going forward. Activities The WUC engages in a wide range of awareness raising and advocacy campaigns about the human rights situation for Uyghurs in China, concentrating on United States Congress in Washington, EU member states, and EU and UN human rights mechanisms. The WUC also works with European Parliament including the EU Subcommittee on Human Rights, NGOs, UN Treaty Bodies, to which it submits alternative reports as well as UN Special Procedures Special Reporters, Independent Experts and Working Groups. The WUC also participates actively with the UN Human Rights Council and submits written statements and reports, delivers oral statements to plenary sessions, and organizes side events that focus on Chinese human rights abuses. The WUC also attends the UN Forum on Minority Issues. Topic: Once Voice One Step The 15th of March 2018, hundreds of Uyghurs demonstrated in cities around the world to draw attention to the Chinese government's repression of the Uyghur people in East Turkestan and urge the international community to take action. Demonstrations were held in 15 cities in 14 countries around the world, including, the USA, Germany, Belgium, Norway, Turkey, Sweden, the UK, Netherlands, Australia, Canada, France, Finland and Japan. <laughs> Big March in Brussels On 27 April 2018, the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization UNPO and its member organization the World Uyghur Congress WUC held a protest march in Brussels, Belgium to demand that China release one million Uyghurs having been arbitrarily arrested and currently being detained within Chinese re-education camps. The participants also demanded that China stop the destruction of the Uyghurs' cultural, religious and linguistic identity. This march brought together Uyghurs from many different diaspora groups from around the world and it is estimated that there were around 2,000 participants. <laughs> Chinese government perspective The government of the People's Republic of China has accused the organization of fomenting unrest in Xinjiang, and added the WUC to its list of alleged terrorist organizations in December 2003. It has labeled the Congress president as a terrorist, who conspired with separatists and religious extremists to plan terror attacks. Kardea rejected the accusations, saying that Anyone who is unhappy with China's harsh rule is a separatist. During the July 2009 Arumki riots, the Chinese government said it had intercepted phone calls of overseas Turkestan groups and groups inside the country. 
The government has also alleged that Kardeya has close ties with the Dalai Lama, accused by China of inciting unrest in Tibet in 2008, and claimed that WUC President Kardeya said that something similar should happen in Xinjiang. See also Xinjiang re-education camps East Turkestan independence movement Human rights in the People's Republic of China <laughs>